Thank you, Ben. Macon has been marking its bicentennial all year, but just 30 minutes north, so is the city of Forsyth. In fact, this month, Forsyth will celebrate 200 candles on the cake. Cecily Stout visited Monroe County today to share some facts about the city's history. The city of Forsyth turns 200 this year. The many celebrations are set to begin next week. While this city only takes up less than 10 square miles, they're rich with history. The center of the downtown square is the well-known courthouse, but it's come a long way since Monroe County began. They needed to house their, their government. So the first was, as you can guess, in the early 1800s, out of, out of wood, out of logs. The land for the city was purchased for $700. They started with two and a half acres around what's now the courthouse square. And after that, the growth came fast. There are records of um, at least 70 homes here. So that just indicates that Forsyth really established itself rather quickly. Before there were smooth roads to drive over, there were dirt roads and railroads. In 1838, the first passenger train uh, in the state of Georgia ran from Macon to, to Forsyth with a delegation of Maconites and Forsythians in the, in the train. The Hubbard Day School produced generations of teachers and students who attended Fort Valley State. There's a very close con, you know, connection and love for Fort Valley from our, from our community because that's where folks went and then the next generation, so to speak, of teachers for our African American community. The 200th year party will celebrate the past, present, and future. Where we've been, how we've evolved, and, and what's coming, what's in store for us. And why not share that with everyone? In Monroe County, Cecily Stout, 13 WMAZ News. So now the bicentennial celebration starts September 16th with a car show. The following weekend will include activities like a block party and a retro music fest. Plus fireworks, a dunking booth, pony rides, and more to see all of the events. And details, check out the Forsyth Facebook page. And we're going to check out Ben Wright.